Yeah, it's really worth it. That's, that's hard to get up to that tempo in two and a half minutes or so in the time, or three minutes, whatever we allow. So, so, on, early, in so, so early in the morning, this is the shank of the day. Are you really, are you all night people? Oh, definitely. What'd you do last night? I'm just at home, read, play cards, watch TV. Last time we played uh, uh, San Diego Sports Arena, about eight, nine thousand people there. A little few intimate friends. Yeah, it was a nice little yeah. quiet, <laughs> quiet. Ten thousand. Ten thousand of your most intimate friends. Don, excuse me. Please introduce everybody. Starting here. This is Jeff Pilson on the bass. Jeff, welcome. Nice to have you here, sir. Oh, we got to get you to stand up so the whole the, the world out there. Mr. Wild Man wow. himself, wow. Mick Brown. <laughs> Mick, nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. And lastly, and the man himself, Mr. George Lynch. George, we welcome you. Thank you. Gather, gather around a little bit here. In reading uh, some of the reviews of your music and so forth, somebody said uh, that you don't rattle the pictures off the wall or you don't have to have it at that volume to appreciate the music. Is your music different from the norm in your area? Well, I think we're a loud band for sure, but uh, we're a little more on the melodic side. We'll demonstrate that in a minute, by the way. Is it true you record on a four-track studio in somebody's house? Yeah, my house. Yes, <laughs> you live off in the woods alone somewhere? So, yeah, that's... Or that's have friendly we, neighbors? That's how we write songs. And then we go back into a... How many... I'm sorry? Then we go back into a regular studio and record the album. But we write songs on a, on a four-track. Right, for most of us, four-track sounds like a lot. How many tracks do you have in a normal studio? 24. 24. Do they have more than that in some oh, places? Oh, yeah. You can get 48. 72. Yeah. Does it cost more money? The more tracks, the more money, I think. I don't know. We can't afford 32 tracks yet. <laughs> I didn't realize that. What is the highlight of your career so far? What, what's been the best thing that's happened? Uh, meeting Gladys Knight and the Pips backstage. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, that's great. All right. Bless you. I appreciate that. You're an all right guy because we were talking about the fact you've been together, what, is it less than five years? Oh, yeah, just about three years now. Well, they've been together 30 years. Now, that's something to look forward to. What's been the low spot? The low spot? Yeah. Playing Detroit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that the night you fell off, fell off the Actually, stage? Actually, yeah, I think the low spot was we did about uh, 25 shows on a day off, yeah. and we got to Albuquerque. It was about 120 degrees, and uh, Mr. Lynch was a little tired, and he, uh, he passed out from exhaustion and about 10,000 people. But he, play, he finished the song. He, went, he actually made it through the song. And finished they, the song, took the bow right on his nose. Oh yeah, they kind of carried him off as he was playing the guitar, I said, so it was interesting. The show must go on. Did you finish the set at all? No. Uh, one song short. <laughs> right. what, now let's talk about the, the, the quiet side. What's the next song? The next song is a, it's an old tune. It's a ballad about being in love. You know, it's a slow song. Jeff and I uh, went to a little studio. I just you said we had a love affair. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not true confessions time here. What was the inspiration for this song? Uh, one of Don's love affairs. All right, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Dokken. You turn up 